Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. It's a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, so we're going to take a look and see who's watching you. Who's peeking at you, Virgo? Who's watching you this month? The Chaser. Okay, also, personal reading link is in the description box below. Oh, you've got somebody here who is watching and chasing, will be chasing after you. Uh, this person is very dependent on you, has a fear of abandonment, doesn't want to be alone. Okay, got paradise and hold on, you get a couple of cards that fell. Wedding rings, date, and stabbed in the back. Okay, um, hmm, Virgo. So, wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection. This person, somebody, oh my gosh, Virgo. Maybe this is somebody you've dated, okay? Or someone who's chasing after a date. Um, they're stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Um, I feel like this was someone you were dating and um, there was hope for um, like a long-term union, everlasting promise, a, a stabbed in the back. Um, something didn't work out, paradise. There was definitely happiness, but I feel like somebody's chasing you for their paradise, for their happiness. Um, let's see who this is. Okay, let me see here. Oh my gosh, Virgo. Show Virgo who is coming in here. Who is chasing Virgo? Who's watching Virgo? Who has their eye on Virgo? Okay. So, got a King of Pentacles. Looks like a, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Could also be. <laughs> you have a couple people watching you, Virgo. An Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay. Hmm. Both of them are... I feel like both of these people want to come in and make an offer. Right now, they're just kind of making a decision here. They're definitely making plans to come in and bring this Knight of Pentacles, but that's such a slow energy. Um, that's not an energy of somebody's chasing. Let's see. One of these kings are chasing you, Virgo. Let's see which one. Okay. All right. Okay. Looks like, Virgo, you ended something with two people. You've got two people chasing you. And it looks like you ended something with two people. Um, <laughs> and blocked. You ended something with one and blocked another. Okay. So, let me see. Why are they... What is going on? I feel like we have um, a couple of different messages here. Let's see. What is going on with both of these, these people? Okay. Yeah. Something... <clears throat> or this person ended something with you, this King of Pentacles, and kind of like walked away. Um, I feel like, though that this was only like a temporary separation, or there was abandonment, it looks like um, it looks like the Earth sign is seriously chasing you. There's a fire sign who is making plans to come in. And I feel like this is kind of similar to yesterday's reading. Um, this King of Pentacles, what, what happened? This King of Pentacles um, wants something new here with you, wants like a restart with you. And this person is like seriously heavily dependent on you. Um, they could have Earth in their, somewhere in their natal chart. They don't have to be a Sun Earth, they can be. But it feels like this this earth sign wants a, a brand new restart um and like is serious this person wants to you know go all the way if it's like wedding bells <laughs> and now i'm hearing sleigh bells so maybe around the winter or around christmas but yeah i feel like this king of pentacles is definitely they've been sitting there beat up broke busted and disgusted by something that ended and they have not let you go. And it feels like um, 
They're going to be chasing after you in August for sure. You are their everything. You are their paradise. Yes, you are. Let me take a look at this King of Wands. So I feel like this King of Wands is kind of like making plans to come in here. Yeah, they're a bit possessive, a little bit controlling. Both of them have the aces. Okay. <clears throat> the King of Wands definitely wants that fiery, passionate new start with you. Okay. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. The King of Pentacles wants a new love, emotional start with you. Oh my gosh, Virgo. You are definitely, look at you, Virgo. You're here with the Nine of Pentacles where, I don't know, it just feels like your heart, like you, you broke a couple hearts here, Virgo. You broke a couple hearts here and maybe even your own in the, in the process, but it looks like you know, or there was some kind of argument or separation with someone, and it looks like you are single as a Pringle, doing your own thing, living your best life, being absolutely like just on your own, solo, totally solo, YOLO solo, you only live once, and it looks like you're just being completely happy with yourself and satisfied, like you've bounced back <coughs> from something that has ended. I do see a lot of communication and a lot of messages coming in from both of these people. Okay. And also, um, a reunion, at least with one of them and a getting together Virgo. It looks to me like you're going to get a couple of love offers from both of these people proposals. And I feel like your energy is kind of like, well, let me just see. Let me read the fine print. Let me see what's in the contract. What are you offering? I don't really see you jumping about any situation, you know, like with either one of these people, because you just look like you're very stable and happy to be single on, on your own, you know, breaking hearts out there, Virgo. You're, you're a heartbreaker. Um, you've definitely something's ended you've definitely transitioned and you know walked away from one two three ten people i don't even know it, it just looks like you started a new chapter in your life after stuff has ended but um yeah i feel like you've got two people you've got the the king of pentacles is watching you online and the king of wands is looking to see who their competition is for you hmm that's interesting the king of wands is very you know and you could change the such sexes male or female the king of wands is like very competitive insanely like even physically competitive and they think that you have i mean they just know that you have others who are interested in you you know whether you do or not virgo i don't know your specific situation but i can definitely tell you that this king of King of Wands like just has it in their head that they know that it's not going to be a problem for you to connect with anybody because you're looking just amazing here and I feel like they're kind of like looking at they're just giving me an image of like a lion crouching down in the grass like it's very predatory you know um they're just gonna st stomp on anyone that tries to get to you <laughs> it's so weird they might even know who this king of pentacles is they might have this idea that you had something with this king of pentacles before and yeah they're really this king of wands is like super super crazy about you like fiery passionate about you definitely let me see more what's going on with this king i feel like you had something with the king of pentacles or something ended with an earth sign yeah there was something here with um with the king of pentacles ten of cups there that might you might have been married to them or you were in a long-term kind of relationship with them um they might live in a city or town or a place called paradise um uh, somewhere tropical looking as well but yeah it looks like something ended there was like a, a divorce or a split up or something along those lines where something ended and that that king of pentacles is watching you for sure like online 
And if you're not online, somehow they're seeing you or they're looking you up to see if they can find you or try to get information about you because they're like, I don't feel like this King of Pentacles has let you go. Even though something ended, they want to try again. And any opportunity that they get to reach out in August, you will be hearing from them. Um, even asking if they can spend some time with you, connect with you in some way. There's a little bit of a competition thing going here because I mean, really, why not? I mean, look at you, Virgo. <laughs> you Like you are single. You are just very single. Even if you're currently with someone, I feel like your mindset is still like you're on your own because you're just, I don't know, Virgo, are you a player? What are you doing? Are you like, oh, are you like a little heartbreaker here? Or at least these two think that you are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like they're both fighting and like watching and coming after you for different reasons, you know? Um, I mean, the King of Pentacles is looking down at the coin there, and I kind of feel like King of Pentacles sees how valuable you are, like you are such a catch, and maybe something ended before there was betrayal, or something might have happened, but it feels like this King of Pentacles knows, like, boing, hello, they really screwed up, something happened, and they realize, like, I don't know, Virgo, it looks to me like you didn't, um, you know how sometimes when breakups happen people actually go like down with the ship and then like they they don't really just get back up on the horse and make their life better some people do that some people do and I think maybe this king of pentacles maybe thought that if you know something ended that you were gonna I don't know Virgo you're like a spring chicken here this is what I'm seeing um they're looking at you this king of pentacles is looking at you and it's just like oh my god Virgo looks amazing. What is all this stuff Virgo's doing? Virgo's got their shish together. Virgo's like on top of the ball. Like Virgo is dressing well, looking fine and trim and strong and gorgeous and, you know, working hard and, you know, being like quite a catch. I don't know. I feel like this King of Pentacles is like, what the heck? They didn't expect you to glow up. And the King of Wands, it feels, and you can switch the signs, you know, the King of Wands um, kind of feels to me like they, the King of Wands, I don't feel like you had something with this King of Wands before, you know, where, whatever their sign is here. Maybe there was some dates, maybe you dated them a little bit, but I don't feel like, um, I don't feel like Virgo had anything real serious with the King of Wands, and I feel like the King of Wands is maybe I don't know I almost wanted to say for some of you they might know about your past if you dated them a little bit and they think that maybe there's still some competition with your past person um but and they're eyeing the past or any other future suitors that come into your life like there's a lot of protection energy with this four of pentacles here um as far as like I don't know if it's protection or possession, you know, um, they're definite. I don't feel like they've approached you yet though with something serious, but they are intending to, you know, it's mostly, um, who's watching you is this King of Pentacles. And I feel like the King of Wands is coming for sure to snatch you up, but it looks like you're like the trophy. Okay. To this King of Wands. But the King of Wands isn't just going to run for the trophy. The King of Wands knows that he has to, he or she has to get rid of all the other players, like knock them all out first in order to, to run for the touchdown and get the trophy. You know, um, I feel like that's the mindset of this. They, maybe they're an athlete. I was feeling that. Or they do, like they're very competitive. And I feel like their idea is to knock out all of the competition first I guess that's how you do it, right? <laughs> I guess that's how you do it. When you're playing a game, you want to get rid of the, the, the opposing players in order to make it easy to get to the end zone, which is you. That's where the trophy's at. So this, this, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I'm speaking football because football season started. So, you know, that's, I got to do my, my football references. But, you know, I just, you know, male or female, masculine or feminine energy, whatever it is, 
I, I just feel like this King of Wands does not want... They, I just get a sense that they know that this King of Pentacles is trying to get back on top with you here, okay? So some of you might not... If you never dated this King of Wands before, let me just tell you something. Like if you've, if you've not had any kind of, um, excuse me, relationship with them... I mean, I don't know any, maybe just friends. I feel like you know who they are, the King of Wands. But um, I just feel like they're, they're coming to you. They're just going to make sure that nobody else has access to you. And where's your heart, though? Let me see. Where is your heart with this King of Pentacles, Virgo? Like, what is going on? Do you even because you look to me like you've just transitioned and you've moved on and that you're done you know you broke a couple hearts you you know you, you you've had your heart broken you know therefore maybe you became a little bit of a heartbreaker here but maybe you needed to do that in order to get yourself or you needed to like end something to get yourself back into this solo position where you're just looking amazing and looking good but it looks to me like you finished it out you've closed it out with at least one of them, if not both of them, okay? Because you seem to be on some new gear. You've got some new shoes here, Virgo. You're doing like a whole new thing, okay? So as far as like where your heart is, it looks like um, the issue with the King of Pentacles was just that um, that person needed to be truthful and honest with you um there might have been like a legal divorce like a divorce or something if you're married to them um but it looks like where your heart is with the king of pentacles is that you just want a truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help you god you know especially if there was some kind of betrayal or something that happened in the past or an ending where else is your heart yeah putting in the effort so I feel like that's still where your heart is, but you're not waiting around for it at all. You're definitely, you've got the world. And with the death card combined, it's like, well, that's done. You know, I'm walking away from that. I'm taking one look, one last look back in the rearview mirror, but my feet are moving forward. So it looks like you're on to some new, new stuff in your life here, Virgo. Um, now, let me see what's going to happen here with this king of pentacles and this king of wands because i do see this king of wands like they're both coming in um with the knights i feel like the the king of pentacles is going to make a um a love proposal to you definitely i mean it feels like the king of wands is very um Maybe this was someone you dated a long, long time ago. Could, the King of Wands, that fire sign, could have been a long time ago. But it looks like, um, it, you know, I kind of feel like the, the King of Wands is, is real serious with the Knight of Pentacles. That's a very serious, that's, that's the long-term security. The King, of, the King of Pentacles is kind of, I don't know, I feel kind of flaky with this love offer here you know it's just a little bit of um what do they call what do they call guys who are they're like lover boys they call them like in the uk they, call, they used to call them dandies i mean they were just like pretty boys or they were you know sweet on the girls and then you know if they got their heart broken then they just go to the next girl like you know they're just like player a little bit of a player i don't see that here with this king of wands i'm not saying that the king of wands isn't a player but um like you would know your own story but i'm not picking that up really here um only because of the knight <laughs> i think if if the knight of wands was in reverse then i would say yes but it's in the up upright i mean the knight of wands is pretty much a conqueror one conquers the physical, the passion, and the other conquers the, the emotions. I feel like the King of Pentacles really got you, though, with the emotions. Yep. Yep. That's it. The emotions, because that's where, you know, especially for the ladies, that's where, that's where it gets them, right there in the feels. Um, 
Now, for the guys, for some of the guys, um, the physical pleasure with the King of Wands is very, very important, okay? And um, uh, some of the guys, if, if you've been involved with someone that where the physical intimacy was like off the charts, that, that might have got you too. That might have got you too. could go either way. But let's see what's going to happen here for you, Virgo. What's going to happen with each of these future-wise going forward? Okay. So, King of Wands is definitely going to be reaching out. Definitely. I feel like... I'm not feeling too good about this King of Pentacles, though. Because I kind of feel like they're going to make the love offer and then dip out yeah i'd be really careful there's a reason why something ended with someone from the past so be careful of that and they might run away or be deceitful again it looks like the king of wands is going to try to knock out i feel like i'm a sportscaster what the hell <laughs> it looks like the king of wands is going to knock the king king of pentacles right out right out of the off the out of the ring 100 percent, yeah and and then come in and I'm just feeling like a very protective energy. I don't know what the heck. It's it, it's very alpha. Very alpha. <laughs> Even for a female. Okay. So for you, Virgo, I just kind of feel like get the hangman. This, this is just like wait and see. Just wait and see here. <laughs> because that's what the hangman does. Look. It's, it's like laying on your couch with your leg across your knee, you know, hands behind your back, behind your head. You're just like, whatever. Virgo, that's kind of like where I feel you're at. You're like, all right, may the best person win. You're just like, whatever. May the best one win. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> Virgo's like, catch me outside, okay? Yeah, you guys go duke it out. You do what you got to do. May the best person win. You know, and there's no guarantee of the outcome here, but I definitely feel like you don't care either way. <laughs> Virgo, you're just like, you don't care. You're like, it's whatever. I'm, I'm on, I moved past this already. And they're like, I just feel like, what the hell's going on? These two are like duking, they like duke it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stay away from my Virgo. And Virgo's like, listen, I need commitment. I, like, I'm not, like, look, have you seen me? And Virgo's like, with this empress, do you know who I am? And Virgo's like, you know, follow the rules. Come in and do what you need to do and do it right. Come correct here. Because this is, this is, this is like, the empress don't mess around with no jokers or pages or knights or nothing, you know? And Virgo will cut him off right at the, <laughs> Virgo's like, if you're not going to give me a bloody storm, I'll cut your damn leg off and get it myself. Virgo, you're just like, look at you. You'll, you're, you have already cut these two people out, or at least you will be, I think. I'm not sure that you're going to do anything. I just don't feel like you care. You know, you're, you're just kind of like, all right, well, we'll wait and see. And if they both fall, come up, show up and they both fall short, then bye-bye. Bye, Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felipe. That is so 2000 and what, 12. Okay, let me see. I, I just, Virgo, I just, you're just like, it's whatever. Okay. On to the next. Virgo, you're just very assertive, you know? If somebody's not going to come in and do it right by you. Yeah, I just feel like that's your energy. Virgo's like, I am not interested in your damn breadcrumbs. You're giving to this one. You're giving to that one. You're trying to keep everybody happy. No. And I feel like you're, you're here talking to this king of pentacles who, like... They, they do the ding-dong ditch kind of shit with your heart. And it's like, if they try to do that again, you got your sword out here, Virgo. So you're just like, nah. It's whatever, Virgo. You got the 11-11. Like, Virgo, you're in a good place. You're stable. You look to me to be very stable. You're, you're not in a rush. You're just like, they can fight over me. I'm not chasing. They can fight over me. I'm not fighting over anybody. Let them fight. Let them duke it out. Let me see what you're loving us. Oh, you know what? We're going to save this. I have an idea, and so stick around, because I'm going to save this for after. A little special Sutton Sutton for you. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see where your messages of love are here right now. In this situation. Oh, goodness. Okay. Children are important to this partnership. So some of you might have kids. And um, 
it's kind of like you know what my kids come first I'm not playing any games my kids come first and I'm protecting my kids or my family I'm not getting dragged through the mud with anybody who you know that's why you're just like duke it out go ahead I'll wait let me know who wins and then we'll talk but if not I'm fine my kids come first or my family comes comes first or the children come first because if you have little kids and then you've got a couple of people messing around or someone playing with your heart or whatever, it's like a lot of drama that drags you into it. And then that drags your kids into it. And, you know, best to keep the kids out of the situation, especially especially if you're a single parent. Um, addiction affecting this relationship. Yeah, you got a couple of people here are like crazy for you, almost addicted to you. And that's they're fighting over you. Oh my god leave me a comment because if this is resonating for anyone i need to know i need to know what the tea is spill the tea virgo what is going on okay you definitely have like there's chemistry virgo i, I feel like you just you give out the chemistry vibes to like almost everybody you meet so you're cursed with that virgo people just like you you're just a likable person let me see what else Okay, lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo. Yep, your support network. Yep, wait, timing's not quite right. Yeah, Virgo's just like, that's fine. I'm, I'm waiting. And there you go. New love or recommitment to love is developing. Okay, so, you know, I feel like just keep your eyes and ears peeled when you got both of these energies coming in because these two, like, I don't even know. I feel like you're... I feel like you're standing on the playground and these are like the two boys who are like fighting in the backyard over you. There's some issues fighting over you or something. I don't even get it. I don't know, Virgo. I'm just focused on you. I just kind of like your energy is just kind of like, you know, take a picture. It lasts long, like shaking your booty while you're walking out the door, you know, watch me shake my ass as I'm leaving. <laughs> you're sassy, Virgo. You're sassin. You're a sasser sasser. All right, let's get a couple more messages here. Virgo, you're a sasser, aren't you? What do you got? What do you got? Okay, bossy male. There you go, showing up, definitely. It can be bossy female. Fire energy, very bossy. Control. Bossy male, and the past is returning. There you go. That's what's going on. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You got two people here who are... I keep saying it. I don't know why I keep saying it. Duking it out or fighting over you. Maybe it's brothers. Maybe they're brothers or sisters. Let me see. What else? What other message do you have? Okay, a material wish being granted. Awesome. And you also have focus on yourself. I feel like you did that and I feel like you're doing that. I feel like you're just like live and let live. Everybody do what everybody's got to do. I'm doing me. I'm doing what I need to do. I feel like I'm not decided about anything. Still undecided. I'm not, you know, it is what it is. I, I can't, I'm not committing to anyone or anything until I see them putting in some serious effort. Otherwise, like, you know, may the best man win. May the best girl win. I feel like Virgo's like, I don't have time for that. I'll endure it, but I'm patient. I'm not chasing. Virgo, you're not chasing. No, you are not chasing anyone. Um, okay, I just want to see. I'm going to ask a couple of if you're dealing with signs and see what the messages are here. Okay, Virgo. So if you're dealing with an Aries, okay. Well, Aries is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, if you're dealing with a Taurus, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, if you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini is deceptive as F, wearing a false mask in the relationship. If you're dealing with a Cancer, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Okay, if you're dealing with a Leo, ooh, super attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This Leo is crazy attracted to you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, still getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens i feel like the virgo wants to get to know you if you're dealing with a libra libra wants reconciliation wants to get back together 
Okay, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio is flirting. It's just a big flirt. Flirt, flirt, flirt. Doesn't mean anything. Just a big flirt. And we'll be flirting with you in August. Um, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius views you as a past life relationship. The past wants you back, wants to come back into your life. Everybody they meet reminds them of you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn decision, Capricorn's making a decision. Making a decision. We'll be making a decision very soon about you and them. If there was a question on the table about you and the Capricorn getting together, they are deciding right now and we'll be making a decision very soon about that. Um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, you need to let that MF -er go. But also the Aquarius has gotten rid of their ex. Okay. If you're dealing with a Pisces, you and the Pisces are in separation or you're going into separation at this time and it's definitely needed for the two of you. All right. Let's get your Chinese signs and see. Chinese signs for Virgo. Okay. Okay. Year of the rooster. Year of the rabbit. Year of the ox. Year of the horse. Rabbit again. Year of the dog. Year of the pig. Year of the goat. So that could be you. It could be your, your other person. The one that's on your mind as you're listening. It could be all three. Right? Or none. So just take it with a grain of salt. Okay, let's get into these Chinese, these other messages and see. What else does Virgo need to know? We have a big old mess going on here. Let's take a look. Some names and other randoms that show up. Okay. All right, we've got someone who's African or light, or light dark skin or dark skin doesn't have to be African, just light or dark skin. I mean, light skinned, dark skin. Does that make sense? Am I saying that right? Not white. Okay, put it there. Not white. Okay, we have the letter H. We have the letter A. Okay. Um, someone's in the army. I'm just hearing that right now. Someone is in the army or going into the army or coming out of the army or leaving the army. Armed forces. I should also say, okay, the letter M, and someone was born in 1991, okay, gosh, 1991, jeez, that seems like it was just yesterday, okay, oh, maybe you and another person were both in the, in the service, the military, two people, you and another person, or you and all these people are in the military, for some of you, that's a message. Maybe it's just you, but there's definitely, I'm picking up military vibes here. I'm also picking up a Leo, strong Leo. Um, I'm getting the initials R, J, like someone's name is R, J, or R, N, J. Okay. So we have the number 811 also, and I'm hearing Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Who's Jeff? Jeffrey? Jeffrey Dahmer? Ew. Jeff. Jeffy. Jeff. 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 Okay. I'm also getting... Um, hmm. Oh, somebody's... Okay. Somebody just got a new, a new job, or you're getting a new job, and... Someone's getting a new job or just started a new job in August. Okay, they just told me. No, it's not job. It's hand job. <laughs> okay, I don't know why. Save that for the other channel, but that just came out. They just said that. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Someone has a PhD or is getting their PhD right now, working on it. Um... So we have the letter H again and a P. And then I'm just hearing headquarters. Headquarters. 
someone's going to headquarters or someone's at headquarters, whatever the heck that means. Headquarters. Okay. We get the letter G. And let me see. I heard the name Sean. Sean. Just now. And I'm hearing Laura. And... Sean and Laura. Okay, nothing else coming through. I'm he hearing Mr. I'm also picking up 92. 92. And someone is going to the Caribbean. There's a trip booked. And um, I'm also seeing a keg of beer. Okay, it's interesting. Um, okay, they're giving me 972. Oh, and now I'm hearing, um, Mer, is it Marge or Margaret or Mirage? It's a Mirage. It could be either of those two, but I'm hearing Mirage. I don't know what that means. Oh, Mirage. Or is it Taj? Taj Mahal? Mirage? Okay. They, they're throwing out these words. Taj Mahal, Mirage. Is it like a casino or somewhere in the Middle East? Okay, I just heard the name Greg, Gregory, Greg. Okay, Pam, I'm hearing the name Pam, Pamela. And somebody's wearing Puma, Puma sneakers, Pumas, Pumas. They're saying it's Pumas. And, um, oh, okay, I'm not getting anything else. They're just telling me Gigi. I keep hearing Greg. I keep hearing that again. Okay, Greg or Gigi. I don't know if there's a connection there. Gigi. Okay, let's get a couple of, get some numbers and stuff okay we have libra scorpio sagittarius sagittarius twice okay libra scorpio sagittarius twice okay so we've got someone is 46 we've got the number 310 i think that came out yesterday 642 and yeah, September 6th, okay. All right, you guys. We've got uh, 1977, 1971, 1960, uh, the number 1110, I'm also picking up um, the number uh, 9016. Okay, take those with a grain of salt. If they fit, they fit. And just a couple of more rules of the signs. Taurus is here, Aries, and Libra. Okay, and we'll get your charms, and then you guys will be all finished. Don't forget, you guys, sign up to my OnlyFans. If you would like to get some spicy reads there, things that I cannot do here I am now doing over there it is $4.99 a month to sign up pretty cheap okay wow that's cute you've got a teapot you've got a teapot that's beautiful little teapot I'm a little teapot short and stout okay maybe somebody's like short or stocky or short okay spill the tea Virgo sitting down having maybe you're having some tea a spot of tea. Spill the tea, Virgo. If somebody's going to be spilling the tea to you. Okay. And you also have a flamingo. Wow. Look at that. Pink flamingo. Is that a drink? Somebody having a pink flamingo? Um, or going somewhere? 
It's called the Pink Flamingo. Maybe going dancing or isn't that a club or a casino? I keep getting casino vibes. I don't know what's going on here. Um, maybe somebody just has these damn things out in front of their house down in Florida or somewhere. <laughs> Something with a pink flamingo. Almost looks like a stork too. They're just saying there might be, you might find out a baby's on the way. Maybe some of you are going to have a grandchild or a grandbaby. Yeah, something crazy. So, all right, Virgo. Oh, look, dragon just showed up. Uh, for any of you that are dragons, this is definitely your reading. Or you might be connected to someone who's a dragon, but I'm going to leave that there. I hope that was informative. Keep your eyes peeled, Virgo. You never know who's coming down the pipe there. Um, yep, so don't forget to join my OnlyFans. There's one link. All you got to do, scroll down this, through the description box below the video there. Click that one link, and then there'll be a whole list where you can get readings with me. You can buy me a cup of coffee if you like. Um, you can join the OnlyFans. You can download my ebook. You can follow me on my socials. Everything's there, okay? So take a little time, peruse all that information, and yeah, whatever you want to do, get to it and do it. All right, you guys, have a fantastic evening. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Be good to yourselves. Love yourselves. Love each other. Make good choices, Virgo, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.